Hey, welcome back. Not consensual towing. Anyway, we're at a Walmart store. Evidently, they've got somebody that's uh, some cars parked out uh, on the, on the property, and uh, yeah, they hadn't uh, they hadn't been shopping here for two or three weeks. I'm pretty certain of that. So the manager's towing these cars because they've been sitting here for a lot longer than what, than what they uh, they wanted. Anyway, we're going to see what happens. Stay tuned. Anyway, that's the manager. She just she just ordered three cars towed. Uh, she she don't play around. That's what managers do. Like I said, uh, over and over again, managers they they manage properties, and that's what she's doing now. Getting rid of the junk. But uh. That's how it goes. Anyway, we're gonna load these two up, man, and get out of here. back in the store or walking in the store I think with his kid and his wife and uh somebody uh two guys had got caught shoplifting and got chased out in the parking lot by by loss prevention and they turned around and jumped in their car and went hauling ass out of the parking lot and ran the man over and they drug him out into satellite boulevard he got caught up under the car and they drug him out all the way out into the satellite right here. That just goes to show how stupid some people are. You can't run somebody over, man. It was a shoplifting deal. I mean, if you got caught shoplifting, you, I mean, what's the worst that you're gonna get, man? A couple of weeks in jail, maybe a month or less than that. I mean, I, to run somebody over, to be so scared to get caught, to run somebody over and kill somebody, man, just don't make any sense man uh, don't make any sense at all now the guys that were involved they you know they're gonna get they're gonna get a life sentence man they're gonna be doing 20 30 years in prison and it's it's well deserved for killing a man like that that's terrible anyway I'm gonna quit yapping it is what it is man and I, I feel for the family man I even, even said prayers for the uh, the guy's family, man. It's a terrible, terrible incident to happen. Um, anyway, we're gonna roll to the yard, man. Enough chatting, enough yapping. We're gonna ride out of here. But uh, anyway, stay tuned. Uh, hey, welcome back. Not consensual towing. That's what we do. Anyway, we got a couple of vehicles on this property here that. Obviously, they were, they were uh, called in to tow. I don't know if they're illegally parked. I don't know the story on them. I just got a made model tag number. But we're going to start loading, uh, get these things off the property. Um, it looks like, uh, let's see if I can spot any of them. That one's the one illegally parked right there. That's not a parking spot. So we gotta grab the Civic. I think I've towed the Civic before. And we got a Ford Escape right here too.
these are uh these right here are what i call hot impounds because they're hot uh the people that uh on these cars they illegally parked sometime or another last night and uh they're they're home they're just uh i guess they're sleeping it's not that early it's, it's 9 30. um but these two cars are basically side by side i got i got one on the hook man i may have some uh drama these are just the kind of impounds where where you have uh you have issues man it's real common to have issues on these type, these types of impounds um, very very common anyway we're gonna grab this this Honda Civic and see if we can't get it loaded as quick as possible Yeah, you can pay it out if you want to pay it out. You can't park in this spot. No, no. Anymore. No more parking. I know. They, 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 they're going to tow anybody that parks it. They towed that one was parked on the corner. I know. Yeah, it's a $100 drop fee if you want to pay the drop fee on it. Oh, <sighs> uh, that's up to you. No, no, no. Me, me She could pay it out if she wants to pay the drop fee. That's up to her. Uh, how much? It's a hundred bucks. A hundred. Yeah, yeah. Si paga cien dólares no se lo lleva. Really? Yeah. Just yeah. She's the owner of the white one. Oh, she's the owner of the white one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll pull up over here. And uh, are you the owner of this one? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna pay the hundred on it? Okay. Anyway, that's the nature of uh, the nature of the beast doing these uh, these, these, these impounds like this. You call in two cars, basically the same building, and then, well, there are two buildings, but they're side by side. Uh, the, you know, big possibility that uh, that the people come out and you have to do a drop fee. These are uh, running operable vehicles; they're illegally parked, and we have to give them a. Uh, have to give them the ability to pay it out by law. We have to. Okay. okay. I'll, I'm gonna drop yours right here in just a minute. I'll drop it. I can put it right in here. Oh, wherever, yeah, that's fine. And uh, as soon as he comes out, he's trying to get his. Huh? He's trying to pay. Yeah, he's trying to pay his. It, and it does run, don't it? We'll just pull it in. And I was telling her, I, I don't know what the issue is with the cars, uh, other than uh, fire trucks can't get through. It, it's probably the number one reason that they're doing it. These buildings, are this par parking lot's really treacherous as far as the hills and, and how close the buildings are. And fire trucks cannot, they, they, they cannot get in here uh, because I can barely get in here in this truck I'm in. So that's why they, I'm pretty sure that's why they do it. We ended up with two payouts, it does happen. Uh, they've got the right to pay it out on property. That's the way it happens when you got two in one building that close to each other. It just happens like that. Anyway, it is what it is. It does happen. We're going to roll to the yard.